Welcome back to another year at LHS. I'm Emma. And I'm Amari. Today is Tuesday, August 15th, and we have sports information, club updates, and more. This is your Blue Devil News. HOSA will be having an informational meeting this Friday, August 18th in the room C306 at 340 p.m. Makeup pictures are September 14th for anyone who didn't take their pictures. Now for sports. Tonight at 7, our freshman football team plays at Wilson Central, so be sure to come out and support our Blue Devils. This Friday at 7, our varsity football team will play at Antioch High School to kick off our high school football season. The theme will be neon, so be sure to come out and support our Blue Devils. Bowling trials will be today and Thursday. You will need a physical form, and you will have to be here for both trials. Volleyball plays tonight at Riverdale at 6. Now, Emma, with your weather. Thanks, Amari. Today's weather is looking at a high of 80 with a low of 66. Expect sunny weather with no signs of rain. Tomorrow morning is supposed to be 65 and sunny. Yearbooks are now on sale. Teachers can find a flyer in their mailbox. Yearbooks are $65. Prices will increase September 1st. Senior Parent Night will take place August 24th in the auditorium at 6 p.m. This meeting will discuss important events and deadlines for the seniors. Both parents and students are welcome to attend. The PSAT is a practice version of the SAT exam. If you earn a high score on the PSAT your junior year, you could qualify to receive a National Merit Scholarship open to 10th and 11th graders, but only juniors would qualify for the National Merit Scholarship. The test fee costs $18, and the test will be Thursday, October 19th in the auditorium at 8.30 a.m. Be sure to sign up and also pay in the Counseling Center by September 6th. That's all the updates we have for you today. I'm Amari. And I'm Emma. This has been the news to you from the white and blue. I am uh, Coach Ramsey. I'm originally from uh, near Orlando, Florida, uh, and I just moved up to Lebanon. Um, for me, I've always had, uh, you know, teachers and coaches as mentors. I came from a single parent home, so those were always people that I looked up for. And to be able to give back to communities and have the opportunity uh, to provide that for other families and, and other students was really important to me as I was growing up and finishing school. Uh, I love it here. Um, last year, uh, I visited Lebanon during uh, fall break and uh, you know I saw the, the town square and I saw everything going on and for me it was uh, just a place that I knew would be a great uh, spot to move my family and to call home and everybody here has been great so far. It's been awesome. Well, um, when I was in high school, I uh, was a musician and I was also an artist. And so it got to the point in, I think about sophomore, junior year, where I had to kind of choose a path because both were very intense. And um, I'm not sure why I leaned art, but um, I went toward the art direction and I loved doing that. Um, I was at a middle school last year and I have taught high school before and I just really enjoyed it. So I was really excited when a position came up on Lebanon. I wanted to be an artist, uh, a working artist. And so I did that for 10 years and I am an artist, not a business person. And I just really love being around people. And so I miss being around kids. So I love being back in the classroom. This is Mr. Nealon, how you feeling? I'm originally from New Jersey, right outside New York City. I used to be able to see the skyline looking down the street. I've got two children that have graduated high school. Uh, another child that's halfway through high school, and a little one. And watching my children go through the school system, I realized the need for teachers, both teachers that knew their subject and teachers that were compassionate with the children. When I was in school, math was my second favorite subject. Truthfully, music's my favorite subject, but in the real world, there's a whole lot more demand for math and numbers than music. You're going to encounter math in just about everywhere in real life. Well, you know, it's a great district with a good reputation, and I've heard a lot of good things about it and it looked like a really good place to go.